Welcome back to the channel y'all. I'm Jacob. Now today we're just going to be kind of showing you our uh, kind of Kiko barn or we call it more of a hut. It's a little bit smaller. It's not really a barn. But uh, we made this ourselves, me and a friend of ours. And what you see behind me is literally everything was like free. Uh, I think I think even the screws were free. So it didn't cost us anything. But just uh, actually I did have to buy my friend a meal for helping me uh make this so i think i came out pretty good but we just kind of want to give you i guess a little bit of a tour of the hut and maybe give you some ideas if you're uh fixing to maybe build a kind of a goat hut or something and uh just to give you some ideas that you may want to put in your goat hut all right so uh like i said we uh built this it was mainly it's pretty much all made out of two by sixes and the reason why i did two by sixes is because that's what we had uh, when we first moved to this uh, property, the guy before us, he left a lot of lumber and I uh, thank him for it because we built literally everything you see here was here on the farm. It was already, it was, like I said, it was all free and my buddy gave me the screws and I just paid for his meal. But, um, so that's the reason why it's made out of two by sixes. It's very sturdy. Um, if you really wanted to, if we did, you, we could insulate it, but it, we don't really need to, but you can if you want to. But yeah, just like over here, we got a little hay feeder. It's a small one. Uh, it's just for whenever the goats, you know, if they want to get out of the weather, we just have some fresh hay in here. We have, you know, more hay out there in the field, but this is just if they want to hunker down in here. And uh, to be honest with y'all, these goats we got, like we said, we have Kikos. So we have four nannies and a buck they honestly they don't come in here like the ones before we had some uh some boar crosses and i think we had you know eight or nine they came in here first sign of bad weather they were in here hunkered down some had their kids in here i mean they use this thing all the time these ones that we got they seem to just want to be outside they don't they do come we do feed them we are trying to kind of train them to let them know hey you can come in here in the weather like when it was raining outside we'd go feed them in here in this trough i'll show you just to let them know hey you know you come in here you're out of the rain but i don't think they still caught on yet but they come in here very rarely we i never see them in here just chilling so but we do like to put down fresh bedding and just make it to where if they ever do want to come in here and stay long periods of time it's here but it just seems like they don't use it very much but it is here for them um the dimensions of it it's about i would say five feet kind of you know wide and about 14 feet i guess long however you want to say that um it's not a very big one you know we don't have a huge herd and as you tell it the it's a little bit shorter on the back end i have to watch my head uh, whenever we built this i didn't think about that too much but like we said we don't have a very big herd uh but it, it will accommodate uh we had our nine uh, nannies and we had a buck in here and they, it fed them. I mean, it, they slept perfectly fine in here. They hunkered together. We had a little heat lamp that we use uh, when it gets real cold. So depending on how big your herd is, this could be something that y'all may want to think about uh, making. And I'll go into some things I would change here in a little bit. But like I said, got a little hay feeder here just to keep the rain out. Um, this thing right here is a is a tr feed trough, which I really, really like, and I'm glad I thought of this. Now, there's some other ways, depending on how you want to set yours up, okay? I don't know if you, you can just make one of these yourself if you already have a barn, but this is made out of composite decking. Um, I had some composite decking just left over uh, that my parents weren't using, and I made this trough out of it, and it's a big trough. I mean, it goes from, I mean, it's every bit of 14 foot. It goes the whole length of the hut. And we just come in here with the feed and we just go down and then all the goats, you know, have room to eat. And since it's, you know, composite decking, it's not going to rot. It's not going to do anything. And so it's really good for this feed trough. You don't have to have, you know, buckets and stuff. You just run it down. It'd be really nice if we had like an actual barn you kind of cut this backside out and you can feed them on the outside because you do kind of got to get rough with them a little bit when you're in here if you know goats whenever feeds there they just lose their mind and uh, 
So maybe something you think about a trough like this, if I was going to redo this trough, um, the only thing that I would do is I, I would do maybe one more slab. This is like a, you know, six inches wide, which they eat perfectly fine. I mean, don't get me wrong, but if I could, I'd back it up just a little bit. Sometimes if you get bigger goats, like our big buck, our old buck had big old horns, and sometimes it was a little hard for him to get in there, but that would be the only thing, just make it a little bit wider. But this works perfectly fine. Um, back here we got some just minerals, some loose minerals over there. Um, it's pretty easy setup. Uh, this wall right here that you see used to not be here. It was just like an open and we just had a beam. I'll show you a picture. I'll have Alex put a picture up here on what it looked like on the outside without this wall. Um, the reason why we had the wall, and this also goes into maybe a different of design I would have probably done. If I'm going back on it, I would have made it a little bit wider. You know, it was about five feet. I would have made it just, you know, maybe eight foot, maybe nine, just because the problem is when it was so, I guess, narrow, when the winds would come in with the rain, it sometimes would come in on the side and come in here and kind of get little things wet just because of how narrow it is. Uh, I would have made it a little bit wider knowing what I did, you know, knowing what I know now. Um, but we put this wall in here to help block that and keep it a little bit more warm in here for whenever they had kits uh, or kids. I always seem to get that wrong. Um, but that's pretty much about it. I mean, we do, like I said, this is very heavy. We haven't had any problems with the winds. But as you've probably seen our other videos, we had a hut blow over. And we've had this way before we had that one. But I anchored this thing down. I think there's, let me see, one, two, three, four. I mean, there's about six anchor points, if not more, uh, in this uh, hut. And it's, um, it's worked out really good for us. Um, like I said, we don't have a really big herd right now. When we start getting bigger and bigger, we may have to think of something else. Uh, maybe just get in a different, another hut for uh, everyone to, to be able to get under. But I mean, right now, they don't even really use that a whole lot, like we said. But you always got to have a structure for them to give them the opportunity to get out. If they choose to stay out, I mean, that's, I mean, that's their problem. They're animals. They do whatever they want. But always give them the ability to get in under something, get dry, and get out of the weather. And your animals will be happy for it if they choose to use it. But this is just some of the uh, design, I guess, you're going to look, look at. I mean, it's more of a kind of like a lean-to type setup. Uh, we mainly built it in the shop, brought it out in some pieces, and then put it back together out here. Because, I mean, this thing is pretty heavy. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I know it's probably just a small, you know, short video, but we just want to kind of show you what our, you know, Kika Goat Hut kind of looks like. And if you're thinking about building something, just remember, you know, try to go a little bit, you know, deeper. So maybe the rain and the wind don't come in as much. Your height, if you're a taller person, make it a little bit taller. I wish I would have done that. I would have saved a lot of headaches, legitly. Um, and, you know, if you're going to put walls up, Make sure you got a decent pitch on your roof so it sheds the water good. And uh, just make sure you consider those things. Really think about it. And that trough, I'm telling you, that trough is really nice. Uh, just, you know, if you can, build your own trough and it, it'll work out for you pretty good. We really like it and it helps us out a lot. Um, but guys, as always, you know, subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that bell for notifications so it notifies you of new content that we put out. If you like this video, hit that like button. You got any questions about anything uh, about our hut or any other videos, or you just want something for us to do, just uh, leave it down in the comments and we'll try to answer uh, your question the best of our abilities. We get a lot of comments and we try to reply to them, but if we don't, just I'm sorry. There's, there is a lot and uh, we just try our best to answer everything we can. But as always, y'all take care and God bless.